Hey guys and welcome to today's After Effects tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how you can create an infographic that's animated uh, that you can use for example in portfolios um, and it will look kind of like this in the end. See it's a little bit bouncy in the, in the end so it goes up to like 90 and then bounces to the actual percentage and gets updated. Um, yeah. I'm going to show you how you can create an animated shape like this. So uh, first of all, we are going to delete the uh, old composition. I don't think we are going to delete it. We're just going to make a new one. Um, yeah, leave everything as it is. And now you want to select the ellipse tool. Um, if you don't see it, it's usually the square tool and just press Q until you get to the ellipse tool. Hold down um, shift and control it's on the Mac and pull out a circle like this. Um, we don't actually need the uh, fill so we're just going to delete it and boom there we have our circle. I'm just going to align it because I don't know I don't really like it when things aren't properly aligned. Okay so the next one we want to do is we're going to add a trim path option um, here is this little add um, menu and we're going to add trim paths and now we are going to do the magic okay so see bring up the start volume um, percentage to 100 and then we are going to animate it and now we want to say okay uh, we want the animations to the, the animation to take a total of two point i don't know three seconds maybe yeah that's a good idea now we're just going to decrease this. Now uh, it's 100%. I mean, you see where this is going. Uh, if you ramp preview it, it just goes all the way around until there. Boom. Um, the other thing you have to be careful about is, um, you see the val values decrease. Uh, you start with 100 and you end with zero. So you have to do a little bit of math. Um, see if you have a skill level of i don't know 75 percent you don't want to put in 75 but 20, 25 yeah and then you'll see it goes all the way up to 20. what the hell oh, oh, i'm sorry this keyframe was the wrong keyframe <laughs> yeah this has to go to three bam that's correct now, if you're now ramp preview it, it is actually correct. Uh, it will stop at 75%. Okay, how can you make this more interesting? Um, it's pretty simple. Select these two keyframes and maybe put a third value somewhere in below. Um, in between, I mean. Uh, I don't know, go all the way up to a little bit above it and then it falls back down. So. It's not very spectacular until now. Um, so we're just going to make this a little bit faster. I don't know, two seconds. Two seconds, this seem right. Just going to move this. Okay. Two seconds is a little bit faster. Okay. Now, once you have all of these, press uh, F9 to use easy ease on them. And as you can see now, Everything is a little bit more realistic. Okay, now you can go into the graph editor and if we zoom in, we can actually see these little grabbers and we can use these to create a more realistic bouncing effect. So we're just going to, I don't know, make these two sharper, boom. something like this, or if you want to do the other way around, you just want to create like this little hobble. Boom. Um, it's always in how you really want things to work out in the end. You can play around with these settings. Um, and I even recommend playing around with these settings. It does make things more interesting. Um, yeah, once you've done that and you're satisfied, you want to allow motion blur yeah, and enable it here as well. 
and now if you run preview it it looks a little bit better yeah all you want to do now is add some text i don't know um maybe if you want to change the color you can also just select it from anywhere so now i'm going to make my skill chart for adobe photoshop it doesn't work really well because i'm you know recording now but you can just use any point of the screen maybe if you like this green or something uh or the grayish or the blue here i'm just going to use this blue now uh just hit enter and you're done you have the color um yeah as i said just add some text And you're basically done. Yeah. Make it a little smaller, align it. And if you would like to, you can add, um, yeah, some animated numbers. Well, that's a whole other deal. I'm going to make a tutorial about that in the future uh, so definitely stay tuned for that if you would like to know things about this and we will see us in the next episode of after effects quick Thanks.